Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Charlie Laura or Charlotte and yeah, welcome back. Uh, sorry it's been a while, I was really unwell last week so uh, I had a migraine again on and off for a week so that was fun. In today's video I'm going to look at the new Be Perfect Dream Big Manifest palette. I'm going to give it a try. Um, I keep saying um. When I first saw this actually I really liked the look of it. This is what it looks like on the inside and from what I can gather it's a very Marmite sort of palette. You either love it or you really don't like it and from what I can tell from people's comments over it generally they don't like the um, the jumbled up sort of look of the palette normally I would agree because I, don't, I myself prefer sort of a monochrom monochromatic la um, layout of a palette but for some reason this I really like the look of this so I don't know what's going on with me there so I thought I'd get it so I did and yeah I just and also there's a lot of different textures as well there's a lot of different like shimmer textures so I think that's put a lot of people off as well sorry I'm a little bit out of practice with uh, filming you have to excuse me and I'm a little bit tired today because I've overslept I'm trying to keep my my eyes open so that's probably why I'm babbling talking crap so yeah but if you're interested in seeing my review on this palette please do keep on watching in the next shot I'll be doing some swatches as well so um, I don't know what look I'm going to do. I've already primed. I've just used my usual uh, Sigma base, which is pretty much dead. It's uh, pretty much empty now, so I need to get another one. But I'm just using my usual products that I like and love. Um, and yeah, and I don't even know what I'm going to do. All I know is I really like this green. This, like, this one. And it's called Stories. So I'm going to just wing it as usual <laughs> like I always do I never know what I'm doing <laughs> also do you like this like this scrunchie um I got a scrunchie and a headband set from I got this from the lovely Jodie and she runs a business that makes really strong scrunchies for people so it's for every hair type um she also does really cute headbands so yeah I'll leave the link down below if you like it please do she's very nice Right, so I'm going to go in with the shade, am I going with the, uh, I am going to go in with the, that green first actually. How do I use, actually no I'm not, no, no, tell a lie, I'm going to go in with Squad, this one here. On my usual M506, I'm going to have fun edit in this because when, <laughs> when I'm filming, I think, right, I know what I'm doing and then I'll get to it and I'm like, no I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm sort of staring at it for about five minutes. And I'm like editing and I'm like, come on. Jesus, make a decision, will you? Um ba -ba -ba -ba. I think I'm gonna do a halo eye today. Cause I want to fancy it. Why not? Pigmentation seems alright. Not bad. I normally I do like the Be Perfect formula. Um, I've got the Stacey Marie Carnival XL Pro, I've got the Love to Heat It, and I've got the Little Manifest palette, which I've only used once, but the Carnivals are the one of my favourites, especially to heat. And it seems to be performing very much like that one. I would say I mean, obviously, I'm, this is just my first shade, but off the bat, it's good so far. Um, we'll see. I'll let you know at the end. Okay, just stamping this on. Just going to take any excess off of the brush. I'll just use like a little cotton pad. And then I'm just going to buff it out. It's not the best blend that I've ever done in my life. Never mind. And then I'm going to go in with another M506 if I can find one. 
Charlotte, what have I done with them all? I have loads. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go into that shade Story, so that green. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it layers okay. Probably won't. Probably look stupid, but never mind. Probably look muddy. Mmm. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. Tell a lie, tell a lie, I ain't doing that. I'm going to go in with... I'm going to go in with the purple next. I'm going to go in with the shade Gratitude, which is like a pinky purple. This one, wait. This one. Um, I am going to go in with Starry's, but I'm going to go in over the top of that. Plus it looks more pink on this side and more purple on this side so I'm wondering if I didn't wipe my brush off properly. Whoops. <clears throat> and there we go. And then I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush or a fluffier brush. I'm going to go in with a Spectrum brush, B11. And then I'm going to go over the top of that with the shade Positive which is a purple. That one. And just to blend those edges out. And hope. And my contact lens has just decided to shift. Oh no, it's alright. Right. Okay. So that's the general gist of what I'm doing. I'm going to go in and re-intensify the shades. I'm going to go in with the shade. If I can do it. I'm going to go into the shade inked as well. I'm going to uh, add some depth to it. And yeah. We will see how it looks very shortly. Chasing highs, chasing highs What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love? What is love? I don't know No one ever showed me I've been on my own for too long But if you hold me now, let me into your heart Maybe I can start to love again and tend to my scars Can you show me?
Okay, so that's looking a little bit better than what it was earlier. So yeah, trust the process. I've just used, as you saw, the Pila Weeds Blank Canvas to do my hello eye. And I'm going to go into that shade Stories because I really want to use it. That really, that, that teal, I really want to use it. I'm going to go over it with a shimmer, but I want to put a matte down first. Just let me have a drink. I have a Phoebe here. I have a wild Phoebe. Hello. She won't like this, but... Hello. You come up here, you know the drill. You know. Yeah, camera. See, hello. Oh, scratch that belly. Mm. Come on, go play. Okay, so I'm just going to use this Zoeva 234 brush and yeah, slap it on. looking sufficiently weird but I like it in a way and I'm gonna go in with the shade I really love this shade Anne I really like that one and the shade Insta there's so many different formulas as well They're just oh, you'll have seen from the swatches anyway but I need to wipe my fingers now I think I might go in, I really want to go in with the shade Anne. I'm going to see how it looks. It'll probably look stupid, but I don't care. And I'm going to go in with it dry first, because it is that sort of soft putty texture. Although it doesn't seem to be picking up on this brush very well. Might be a finger job like this. And it's very flaky. Yeah, I'm going to finger it. That sounded. Okay. Stop chewing my lights. She's chewing my box lights. And it's just a messy halo eye. I'm not doing anything fancy. That's pretty. Definitely use your finger for this because it didn't seem to be picking up on the brush very well it did say on the website that there's excuse me no get off she's trying to steal my lashes now no no keep up no. I really need to stop putting this mirror in front of my face as well because you guys can't see fully. But that's how it's looking so far. I'm obviously going to blend it out. <laughs> you can't get them, they're in the box. <laughs> she keeps clawing at a, a box now. Get off. She thinks the spiders, I think. Stop being so naughty. You've been very naughty today young lady. It's very unlike her. Right, so I'm going to blend these edges out with the couple of shades, probably the shade Squad Gratitude Inked, just to make sure that my halo eye is blended. You are distracting me. Get down, come on. Right. No. <laughs> Keep up. And this is why they never listen to me, because I just laugh. And the cats as well.
okay it's not perfect but whatevs this is just to test the palette and the palette out Phoebe stop it right I have this box of lashes and she's just digging into it I'm gonna confiscate them off of her just keeps shoveling her, her paws in there in her face trying to grab them even though they're all in boxes pretty much I'm just gonna wipe this fallout out so the shim the shimmer shade had a lot of fallout which you know it was I expected that with it being quite flaky Phoebe what are you wanting you're not having that no come on out Come on, go play with your brother. Yep. You're such a naughty girl. Go play with your Milo. Sorry about that. Right, I'm just going to do the bottom wash line now. Use my very run. run. Look how much is left. It's like a little tiny nib and it's so dirty. Well, I'll have to get some more. Just put that under my eye. Ah, dear. Sorry about that. I always forget that it stops recording after half an hour and I've obviously been yapping on for that long. Cause my eye. Uh, how attractive. Right. Bottom lash, lower lash line. First things first, I'm going to pop something in my waterline and I'm going to go with the Barry um, High Viz eyeliner in the shade Caution. It's this deep blue. Because I really like this one and I think it'll look nice. No, Phoebe. <laughs> she really wants my attention today, which is very unlike her. Pulled it down a little bit as well. I'm going to go in with the shade Stories, that green, again. I'm just going to go, I'm going to stamp it on with a flat brush if I can find one. Right, that's it. I am confiscating them and putting them here behind me. Yeah. You're grounded. I don't think she cares. You don't care, do you? No, because you don't listen. Anyway, I'm just going to use this Spectrum A13 brush. I put it into the shade Stories, and I'm just going to stamp this on underneath. And then I'm going to go in with a blue. I'm going to go into the shade Vibes. I've got crap all over me. Which is this blue in the middle. And I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to fluff it out. It is being dragged down by quite a bit, but I'm going to sort that out. Don't you worry. I don't think I like that. Give up. Right, I'm not kidding. Look, just I'm gonna show you what she's doing right now. Just to give you a bit of she's there. Excuse my room. It's very messy. She's just sat right next to me, the palette's here, and her tail keeps whoo doo doo doo. Just want strokes, don't you, darling? You've been very needy this afternoon. Mm. Yes. Um, I don't think I like that. Hmm. I think I might put a bit of that purple in as well. Try it with a denser brush, not as fluffy. Can you tell I don't ever actually know what I'm doing? Because I really don't. I'm just... Yeah. 
Uh, it'll do. I swear to God, whatever. Whatever. I am going to stamp some more of that green on though. Just here. I'll probably fanny around with it anyway. Whatever. So, this is the look. I'm going to pop some lashes on. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to do my base, but I won't be doing it on this video because I've got a first impressions of a foundation which I'm going to do for another video. So, I'll be filming that off of this. So, the next time you'll see me, I'll have my full face of makeup on and I will give you my final thoughts. And I'll probably look a bit different because. I don't know, I'm not 100% happy with this look, I will be honest, um, um, but it is just the first impressions, I'm not feeling wildly creative at the moment, I mean I'm, I never really am wildly creative anyway, but um, it will do, it'll do donkey, it'll do, that, oh no, that'll do donkey, that'll do, I don't, that sounded nothing like Mike Myers in Shrek, nothing. Anyway, I will see you in a moment. Alright, and this is the finished look with my base on. What do we think of the eye look? I actually prefer it now I've got my lashes on, like I always do. It's not the most revolutionary look I've ever done. It's not my favourite look I've ever done. It'll do. Um, but yeah, impressions. First impressions of this palette. It, yeah, it's good. Um, I forgot to say it retails for I think it's £29 or £30 something like that you do get a lot of shades the mattes are okay um, they perform alright there's no, the, 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 nothing wrong with them but there's nothing spectacular about them I've played with better mattes than I have in this but I've played with worse ones as well they are middle of the range work well uh, no issues, I no problems with that the shimmers seem to be probably the selling factor I guess of the palette they are really nice they're all really different textures um but I'm, I'm more looking forward to using a couple more so I like the look of this blue this green um I've used the on my inner corner I've used pink lily I'm oh, sorry pink lily I've used lily and I've used insta some you're gonna have to have a look and try it it's a bit of trial and error because they are all different formulas. Some are better with your finger, some are better on a brush, some are better wet, but generally, yeah, it's good. I've not obviously used all the shades today because pff, it would look an absolute mess if I did. But from first impressions, yeah, I like it. I'm glad I got it. Um, yeah, there's no issues. I would say if you haven't got this one and you haven't got the Stacey Marie Tahiti York XL Pro, I would go for the Stacey Marie's over this one, 100% because they are very good. But the, but if you've got those and you're fancying this and you're liking the way it looks, I would, yeah, 100% say yeah. I recommend it. It's, it's nice. So yeah, um, let's look what it says. So this is right, okay, I forgot to say this earlier. So on the back it says 19 deeply 19 deeply pigmented matte shades, 13 stunning, stunning shimmers, um, super sparkle shadows, one matte cream shadow, one shimmer cream shadow, and one gloss shadow. So that's why they're probably a little bit more putty. So yeah, I would definitely check out what each shade is supposed to do. I didn't really go into that sort of detail today. Um but yeah, all in all, good. I'll stop rambling on now. Uh, if you want me to do any more looks with this, please let me know down below. And yeah, I've also got some good news. I never thought I'd ever say this, but I actually have a code with Look Fantastic for 20% off. It is an affiliate link, so I will make a small commission on any purchases made. Um, if you are interested in having a bit of a saving, um, my code is on screen now. And yeah, and I'll keep it down below in all my description boxes for anybody if they are on there and they want a discount and they fancy using my code. Now, I never thought in any world that I would be able to get a, an affiliate link with a brand like Look Fantastic. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased and yeah, I don't know what else to say. If you liked my video and enjoy my content, please do like and comment down below. 
it means a lot to me and if you would consider subscribing because yeah it, I'd like to see you here again it makes me happy when um, I have subscribers it makes you <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to YouTube anymore but yes basically what I'm saying is if you like my content please consider subscribing it would be nice thank you and yeah I will see you in the next video guys and yeah don't know what else to say I will stop waffling on now bye